Welcome back to our channel, where we untangle the webs of global affairs. Today, we dive into a seismic event in Africa as Angola, the seventh largest nation on the continent, takes a bold step away from the global oil cartel, OPEC. But was it just about oil production quotas, or is there more to the story? Join us as we unravel the layers of Angola's OPEC exit and explore the geopolitical undercurrents at play. We will dive into this in a second. Take a moment to like the video and hit the subscribe button below. Kindly share with friends so they know what is happening in Africa. In recent headlines, Angola, a nation known for its relative prosperity among African countries, has officially bid farewell to OPEC, the organization of the petroleum exporting countries. Angola's decision comes after about 16 years of membership, and the departure raises questions about the motivations behind this significant move. Angola, the eighth largest African nation by GDP, owes much of its economic strength to oil. As the second largest oil producer in sub-Saharan Africa, Angola's fortunes are intricately tied to the global oil market. However, recent months have seen challenges arise as OPEC, the global oil cartel, implemented production cuts to stabilize oil prices. This move, while beneficial for some, posed a threat to smaller producers like Angola and Nigeria. As we continue, kindly like and subscribe to this video. On the 30th of November, OPEC announced yet another cut in oil production pushing Angola to a breaking point. Diamantino Pedro Azevedo, Angola's Minister of Mineral Resources, Petroleum, and Gas, didn't hold back when announcing the split from OPEC. He emphasized that Angola saw no gains in continuing its OPEC membership when its contributions and ideas produced no tangible effects. This candid revelation underscores the frustration felt by the oil-rich African nation. To understand Angola's decision, we need to navigate the intricate web of global oil dynamics. Oil prices have been on a roller coaster, reaching a peak of $140 per barrel in March but stabilizing since. OPEC, and its extended allies known as OPEC Plus, attempted to stabilize prices by implementing voluntary production cuts, a strategy that worked against the interests of smaller oil producing nations like Angola. However, the plot thickens when we consider the geopolitical aspects of Angola's exit. On the day OPEC announced the latest oil cut, Angola's president was in a crucial meeting with US President Joe Biden. The timing is uncanny, and it hints at a deeper connection. Biden announced a substantial $1 billion investment in an African rail corridor, linking copper-rich regions in Zambia and the Democratic Republic of Congo to Angola's port. This strategic investment aligns with the U.S.'s broader goal of making inroads into Africa, countering the influence of rivals like Russia and China. The suggestion is that the U.S. administration is using financial incentives to shape the geopolitical landscape, specifically with regard to oil production and pricing. The argument presented implies that Biden's motive for pushing Angola away from OPEC is to control oil prices and maintain stability for political reasons. According to this perspective, every time there's upward pressure on oil prices due to events such as conflicts in Ukraine, Gaza, or the Red Sea, the US administration intervenes to prevent market upheaval. This manipulation is seen as a strategy to avoid inflation, present a strong image for the Biden administration, and safeguard the US currency. For Angola, Breaking away from OPEC means more than just a potential reduction in oil prices. It signifies an opportunity to boost economic growth, develop infrastructure, and attract investments on its terms. The decision aligns with Angola's vision of steering its economy independently, despite the challenges posed by fluctuating oil prices. With Angola out of OPEC, there could be pressure on countries with low production like Nigeria to increase its production quota. Angola's bold move to break free from OPEC's grip raises critical questions about the dynamics of the global oil market and the geopolitical considerations that influence such decisions. Only time will tell the impact of this decision. What do you think about Angola's exit from OPEC? Is it a strategic move or a consequence of economic frustrations? Kindly let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Remember to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Additionally, feel free to drop a comment suggesting topics you'd like us to explore in our upcoming videos.